So glad to be done with work. It was such a crazy week. I shut off my computer and I am now off to a workout class. So let's go. so much quieter on the street. I just finished my workout class and I'm so excited. My friend Carrie is coming over and we're gonna have dinner and then watch a show. You just came out, so we're so excited to watch it. We used to like binge watch and veg TV shows and movies and stuff during grad school. And it's been a few years since we've done that together. So I'm really excited. We go home, shower, get ready, and decided to just stay in today. Even though it's so nice and warm out, it's crazy. It's like mid-February and it's so warm. I'm way too overdressed like this, even though I went to work out, but still, still overdressed. Look at that. All right, bye. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for this. I ordered this earlier this week and it got here so quickly. But I ordered this from Just Fab. And ah! it is the coolest look at these shoes. <gasps> I am so excited to wear these. I'm just picturing wearing these at Coachella. Finally going to Coachella and I'm gonna be wearing these boots. Look at this. It's so cute. They're zippered, so you take it on and off by zipper, so you don't have to actually tie the whole thing, which, oh, I love it. My Doc Martens. You have to like tie it every time and it's just so much work. And they have these cute little bags on the sides. And I don't know, maybe I can put like little things that I need, like candy, mints and stuff. I was thinking about wearing them in Brazil next week, but they're pretty like hefty. So I'm not sure if these would fit in my luggage. And it's summer in Brazil, so these might be a little too hot. But I'm gonna wear these tomorrow. I'm gonna take photos and post them on Instagram. Uh, I'm so excited. Yay! So my friend Carrie is coming. We ordered Thai Villa. We got takeout. I hate it when they bring utensils. Ah! We both got Pet CU. This is like the lunch special. And I am just heating them up in these bowls. One of the perks of being a content creator or social media influencer is getting invited to restaurants and cafes. It's a great way to try new spots in exchange for sharing on social media. Ando Patisserie invited me to try their French fusion desserts and I invited my friends Nancy and Cece to join me.
After desserts, we went to a nearby wine bar, got happy hour, and caught up with each other. I'm swinging by Trader Joe's to buy some frozen groceries. Ever since I started traveling for work again, I buy frozen foods that I can keep in the fridge. Guys, I always save the best for last. I managed to snag reservations for Sema, the first South Indian Michelin star restaurant that's located in Greenwich Village. They've been sold out for weeks ever since the Michelin announcement and all the new articles that followed. The trick to snagging reservations at these highly coveted restaurants in New York City is to book an early reservation, like right when they open at 5 p.m. Tonight, I'm dining with no other than my sister, Shirley. When we got there, there were already a line out the door. That's another trick, is to do a walk-in right as the restaurant opens. Since we had reservations, we got seated right away in the back room. It's pretty tight and I don't think there was a coat check as everyone's coats were on the seats and it made the place even tighter. The service is really good though and we each got a cocktail and chose a few dishes to share that our server recommended. Look how big this dosha is. It's as big as my face. This dish is called gunpowder dosha. I recently learned that it's pronounced dosha even though it's spelled D-O-S-A. And it's called gunpowder because it's a mix of three types of lentils, red chilies, curry leaves, spices, which gives it an explosive flavorful property. These tiger prawns are huge and juicy. There's green chili in it, so it is spicy. So good. They know what it is. It's so spicy. Yeah. Pan is so good. It's so spicy. Next up, we got the goat biryani and the oxtail. Oxtail is so good. My least favorite is the parata. It's so hard. It's not very good. It's so hard. It should be flaky and light. What's your rating? I mean, literally, I should be seven out of ten. I should be. So that's my weekend, a pretty chill, cozy weekend, spending a total of $168, not including subway rides. Didn't film this in the restaurant, but we got 
I have leftover biryani taken home. We have two of these, so surely my sister took one and I have the other. So now we have another meal. Hey guys, so I did a very silly thing. I'm sitting on the floor. There's this one spot on the ground where you get sun because I did something so stupid. So I'm going to Brazil in three days and I don't have a visa. I didn't realize that I needed a visa to go into Brazil. I have to go to the consulate to get it and I have work on Monday, but I'm going to explain to my director who's been very encouraging and supportive. He's like excited for my trip and we've been talking about it. So. <sighs> Am I gonna make it to Brazil? I don't know. Oh, I can't believe this is happening. And I was so excited for Brazil and I have all these like plans and content and wanted to do all these things, but it's all right. I have three days. Monday, we will see. I'll keep you guys updated. So I'm just gonna sit on the ground, soak up more sun before it goes away and try to take my mind off it and just pack and get ready for Brazil as if I'm still going on Tuesday. Oh, <laughs> so silly. Wish me luck, okay? Let's do this. All right, this Bank of America got my three month bank statement. Okay, I'm running around like a crazy person, but I just went to the bank and got my three month bank statement. I am running to the post office now to get a money order. Wish me luck. Got my visa! Yay.